But I'm going to ask you, what are you struggling with right now as a 21 year old entrepreneur just started on your come up? You're about a year into this. What are two or three things that you're struggling with right now? Because I guarantee you, I've probably been through it twice. It's a tough one. I'll toast to that one. I mean, not really a tough one. I know right <laughs> off the top of my head, time. Time has been my number one just struggle overall at the moment because as I'm taking on more projects, as I'm really just as an entrepreneur in its own, it's hard to you know, really overcome that hurdle of like managing your own shit. Like, cause if you work for anybody else, right, it's almost like the military. You got to be here at this time, done at this time. But when I'm on my own, it's all on me. And then I also have to factor in the gym. I also have to factor in my family, girlfriend, whatever it may be. And it's just friends. Yeah. All of the above. So is there any kind of, so you're kind of screwed on the time aspect cause you're not getting any more of it. You're not getting any less of it. You get the same amount of time I do. My my, What makes me cringe on the inside is when people say, I don't have the time to do something that improves their life. So they say, I don't have the time to go work out. I don't have the time to spend with my friends. I don't have the time to spend with my family. I'm working too hard. Or I don't have enough time to work. You have the exact same 24 hours everyone else does. The Rock's a perfect example. His, his calendar is booked out like three years in advance. Like down to like five minute increments. Yeah, I'm sure. I wouldn't my, doubt it. My best fix for that Google Calendar, Apple Calendar. You have a calendar app on your phone. Your phone is glued to your body almost, you know, 18 hours a day. Use your Apple Calendar or Google Calendar. Write down what you're going to be doing almost every hour of the day. When you're going to eat, when you're going to work out, when you're going to socialize, when you're going to spend time with your family. You would be surprised how much more productive you are that you're not just shooting from the hip all day. And this is just something that'll spend you, it'll take you five minutes to do this. You can just sit down and say, what am I going to do for lunch? When am I going to lift? Who am I going to lift with? When am I going to work today? And when am I going to have an hour or two of just me time if you need that? And that's something that everyone can do. You used to walk around with like a calendar in your, you know, purse or your backpack now you got one on your phone and it'll send you alerts, you know, it'll do everything down to drive time. I know when I'm going to get somewhere. My calendar is so organized that it's going to tell me how much traffic there's going to be to get to my meeting on time. So there's literally no excuses nowadays to be late. So you're just getting a little bing, eating at 15, gym, 20 minutes. Yeah. Or traffic is, it's a 24 minute drive, 25 minute drive. That way I can procrastinate to the last minute <laughs> and Apple and Google does all the work to factor in my schedule for me. Well, damn, that's some good advice. I never really thought about it like that because like if I was to, you know, plan out my day, I would just strictly plan out business stuff. Okay. Meeting here, call here, but I would never would think to plan out gym, family. I would never would think to put that on a calendar and actually plan that out. Yeah. Everything. I, I really started emphasizing that and then I was trying to gain weight and I was having to eat six to eight meals a day, minimum, like full meals. I was like, I don't have the time to eat right now. And then I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to eat while I'm doing cold calls. I'm going to eat while driving. Wouldn't recommend that, you know, unless you know what you're doing. Uh, I had a Tesla at the time, so it drove for me. (laughs) But when is some free times that I can just scarf down this food and get to the next project? I mean, eating became a full-time job for me at one point in my life. I mean, it got up to where I was eating eight plus meals a day. So I had to get organized quick while running my companies. Um, But but there's no excuse. There's literally no excuses. Yeah, so on the flip side of that, while we're talking about time, how did you – overcome because i'm having to jump through the same hurdle right now how did you overcome the hurdle of having to tell people to like f off because your time is that valuable i'm the worst at that if somebody asks me to do something i'm gonna go out of my way to do it i'm just a people pleaser and then you're I'm, screwed on the back I'm, end I'm, I'm horrible i'm just gonna get shit done <laughs> even if it costs me a little bit i mean i'm still just gonna get shit done i'll make time um that is one of my hardest things to do is to say no to people that is a struggle that i've had my whole life if one of my friends calls me and says, hey, you want to go grab dinner? You want to go work out? Um, you want to come to this event? It's so hard for me to say no because I feel like it's almost like an act of disrespect. Um, when I invite people to do things, I almost take it personally if it's something that would better both of us and they say no for no reason. So if I can do it, I would feel almost like I'm disrespecting my friends at that point. But if, if for me to say no, I have to absolutely be just packed every minute throughout the day. So... I struggle with that myself personally, Um, but I will, I've done a good job building a life where people don't invite me to stupid things. So my friend's either going to say, hey, you want to lift? I'll be like, no, I'm already lifting with someone today. You can either join or we can do it tomorrow. 
So I'll, I'll be able to satisfy their needs pretty much. That's, that's pretty respectable. So anytime somebody invites me to do something, I try my best to do it or I try to reschedule for another time. I don't just leave it closed. Like, no, I don't want to come. It'd be like, no, let's not do this today. So you can always just reschedule. Like, you know, if somebody hits you up and says, hey, let's do dinner tonight. Uh, I might already have plans tonight. Let's do it tomorrow night. Or what if I have two or three friends invite me on the same night? What if we just do a group event? Like, there's always a way to, for everybody to win. Like, you can't just keep saying no to your friends over and over again. Eventually, they're going to stop inviting you. See, that's what you, you don't hear the gurus say that. They're like, hey, screw your friends. Your time is the number one thing in the world. It's the most important thing. Tell them to F off. You don't hear what you're saying very often. So I think yeah, that is a very... Good friends. You got to have good friends. You got to have really good friends. I know that if any of my friends invite me out to eat, the positive conversations are going to outweigh almost anything that I do tonight. So pick good friends. I think pick good friends. I think you're at a different level than me because you've already established the income and you're not in a headspace of like, I got to figure this the fuck out. I'm in the headspace of like, look, I, if I have to sacrifice some friendships right now to give myself more time to figure this the hell out so I can, you know, provide for those friends later on, maybe, but I think we're just at different places to where I can't just give up my time so in that aspect. We're probably going to dive deeper into that later into the podcast. Um, but I got a fix for that. Okay. Um, but even when I first started out, I did just a cleanse of pretty much all my bad friends. So the people that were hitting me up were quality people that I do want to spend time with because they're going to help elevate me in life. So you want to have a social circle that you don't want to blow them off because it's going to be wasted opportunities. Like right now, I know if any of my friends invite me out to dinner or a charity event or a networking event, it's going to better me to go there for the people that I meet, the positive conversations, and just to further nurture our relationship. So the fix for that is don't have friends that waste your time. Because I promise you that if I went out to dinner with four or five of my closest friends right now, the conversations we have is probably going to make us five to $10,000 each just from those conversations. Like tonight uh, when we went to dinner, I guarantee you the two friends that I went with are going to make an extra $10,000, $20,000 this year just from the conversations we had. Sure. Just from short little short little ideas that might blossom into something. Yeah. I mean, we planned our entire next Saturday night tonight um, for whenever we go to Seville and everything else. But we'll, you'll see the videos for that one. It's a bit different than what my friends are talking about, so maybe, maybe I need to... A- Shake up my circle. That's an interesting, uh, interesting so, thing about. So your time, you're kind of screwed. You have the same time that I do. You just need to focus and make the most of it. You might have the same 24 hours, but we might spend them differently. My brain is working from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. And then I'm going to wake up two or three times in the middle of the night. I'm still going to get shit done until I can go back to sleep. My gears are always turning. It's almost exhausting, but... I'm always in attack mode. 